this video I'm going to paint is a simple windmill, an old windmill that I came across during my last visit to Holland. I took a photograph, brought it home and then I sketched it on paper and I have applied masking fluid uh, in regions where I do not want the sky color to get into. And now one thing I should tell you what I have in my mind, I want these blades to be white in color. Now that white will be prominent only if I have a background that is dark enough. At the same time I have this building structure which, is, which was of brick color and I want to use that same color warm reddish burnt sienna kind of a color so this is going to be quite dark so this is dark and this is light and in order to have contrast I would like to compose this sky in a such a way that I have dark sky regions just behind the lights and then when I have this structure I have lighter color so let's see how we do it that is my plan and that is what I would like to achieve so again as I start, I start with a mixture of uh, Naples yellow and rose madder and I start from close to the horizon and then I move up gently I'm using a hake brush here which is really soft and absorbs huge amount of paint in it so that is really helpful when you when you want to avoid reloading your brush again and again so once you have loaded it it's going to last forever so this is what I want here I want This is the advantage of having a masking film. You can apply it and then carry it all the way to the other side. See how I'm, how cleverly I'm using my colors. I have put in dark colors, so in the final stage I have the white white blade having a good contrast with the background. So this is going to dry a lot lighter. So I think I should put.
I'll vet this area again and I'm assuming that the light is coming from the right sides That looks fine. I'll go all the way down till here. And now with a mixture of burnt sienna and cadmium yellow. and immediately introduce a little bit more red in it and as we go further to the left we add more burnt sienna and I'm, look how what I'm doing I'm, I'm not mixing my colors in the palette, I'm just introducing it on the paper itself and allowing it to mix on its own. I'm getting a nice warm color on the wall. And as I go down, I'll just I'll just faint it because I do not want any hard edges. So mix a darker color and dark colors and close here I will do the brickwork later and we will cast the shadow Later, but at the moment I can just paint these these are structures which is supporting the roof that should be fine I'll turn my attention to the roofs I really want these roofs to be clean and nice reddish in color tiles I think this color will be fine for these yep, you can introduce some more burnt sienna to make it more vibrant so you see color is mixing and giving an impression of these uh, tiles I will do the same with the other roofs 
so the uh, it will be a little lighter and I think the same should happen with this roof and perhaps exactly the same with the one out there this is going to be in the shade so I can paint it a little darker That's it. Um, this will again be brick wall. So I'll mix crimson alizarine with uh, the burnt sienna and then that's fine 
I think now I have to bend this foreground. I'll paint wet on wet. We'll do the detail work later. I've wetted the paper mixed with uh, I think I will have some trees in this region as well. Paint very loose. 